Today, we have an important topic to discuss. Five secrets for communicating with your teenager. Secret number one, start with understanding. Start with understanding, even when you don't understand. It's crucial to begin interactions with your teen from a place of empathy, even if you can't fully grasp their perspective. For instance, if you catch your teenager chatting with friends online when they should be doing homework, remember, they may have their reasons. Your teen might be thinking about a conflict they had earlier in the day, and that online chat is their way of resolving it. Instead of jumping to conclusions, try saying something like, I understand how tough it can be when you have a disagreement with your friends. I also know you have a test tomorrow, and schoolwork is your responsibility. Let's work together to find a way to manage your time effectively. By acknowledging their feelings and concerns, you create a more receptive atmosphere where they are more likely to listen and cooperate. Secret number two, don't get emotional. Don't get emotional or take it personally. Emotions can be your worst enemy when trying to connect with your teenager. It's essential to remind yourself that their behavior is not a reflection of your parenting. Understand that your teen may not have developed the necessary skills to make better choices yet, and your role is to guide them towards better decision-making. Focus on your responsibilities as a parent and avoid taking their behavior personally, even when they resist your boundaries. Secret number three, ask honest questions. Ask honest questions, not loaded questions. Encourage open dialogue with your teenager by asking for their input and ideas. Show them that you have faith in their abilities and that you're there to support them. Avoid loaded questions that put them on the defensive, like, why can't you get up on time? What's wrong with you? Instead, try starting a conversation with, do you have any ideas for how you might get up on time? This approach empowers your teenager to find solutions to their problems and fosters their independence. Remember that your goal is to help them develop critical thinking skills and take ownership of their actions and consequences. Secret number four, don't need their good behavior. It's important not to rely on your teen's cooperation or validation to feel better about yourself. When you place this need on them, it can lead to control and manipulation. Ask yourself, how do I want to act no matter how they are behaving? Reclaim your power by focusing on your own behavior rather than trying to change theirs. If they act out, remember that it's their issue to resolve, and you can choose how to respond without needing their compliance. By detaching from their behavior and maintaining your own boundaries, you create an environment where they can learn to make better choices on their own. Secret number five, don't do anything until you're both calm. Avoid addressing conflicts or difficult subjects in the heat of the moment. Give yourself and your teenager time to cool off and regain emotional balance. If either of you is upset or agitated, pause the conversation and return to it when both of you are calmer. This approach prevents unnecessary conflicts and allows for more productive discussions. Remember, staying calm and composed in challenging situations is a skill that can be developed over time. Use self-talk to reinforce your commitment to staying strong, and gradually, you'll find it easier to maintain your composure. And there you have it, our five secrets for effectively communicating with your teenager. Remember, parenting is a journey, and it's normal to face challenges along the way. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, share it with other parents who might benefit from these secrets, and subscribe to our channel for more valuable parenting insights.